Now to the hunt for the person who made online bomb threats at a Metro Detroit high school. As 7 Action News reporter Shelley Childers explains, now West Bloomfield High was open today, but many students opted to stay away. We've been watching as students continue to leave the West Bloomfield High School campus. They tell us they're just too scared to be in school today. Freshman Vian Castrati tells us he tried to stay in class today, but the thought of violence breaking out inside his school was too much. I personally felt uncomfortable staying in school knowing something might happen. West Bloomfield police tell us they got the first calls from worried parents around 11 o'clock last night. It's a threat that was made on social media, and we're taking it seriously. Deputy Chief Kurt Lawson says the threats were made on Twitter. A student sent Action News a copy of the online threat. It consists of eight tweets sent directly to the high school's sports Twitter account. One tweet reads, the bomb that my uncle and I constructed will go off. We don't know at this time if it's a student or if it's a resident or if it's someone outside of the community. Police called in extra detectives to track the suspect, and they have extra security on campus, including a bomb sniffing canine. But those safety measures did little to keep these students in school. Nobody felt safe in school. I feel like they should have just closed school for today. That let them feel safe. Lawson says his team has tracked online suspects before, and they hope to have warrants and subpoenas by the end of the day. In West Bloomfield, Shelley Childers, 7 Action News. Shelley, thank you. And the school district just sent us a statement regarding the threat. They say the building was checked and secured by 5 a.m. And while they have taken extra precautions to ensure student safety, they did have lower than normal attendance. We're told they will have their final attendance numbers tomorrow.